Okay, so now I have pulled up the sales letter that I wrote for Alex in his last launch. So uh, you can see here's the headline and uh, you can go to ultimateprofitempire.com to go check out the sales letter. But I really wanna take you behind the scenes and show you um, how I wrote this. Uh, this converted it at around 30% to um, affiliates, which is really good. And about, I think, 7% overall to, uh, you know, just all the traffic in general. So overall, it's 2,600 uh, 2, plus units in a week period at the $10 price range. And it wouldn't, so that's, um, you know, $26,000. Doesn't include the back end and you know all the coaching. It's probably a hundred, two hundred thousand um, dollars. That will come as a result of this sales letter, which is really the uh, the first part in the process of this well-oiled. You know, when I create funnels for people, it's really sort of this is the uh, first part, the most important part. And then uh, in, Al in the case of um, Alex's business, this is all designed to drive to a $5,000 sale. And that's really, um, you know, a lot of people, they don't understand uh, that done, if you're doing this right, um, you know, these little $10 offers all should be, you know, you should, when you're designing your funnels, they should, you should start with the end of mind. So, you know, um, this is not where the money is made, um, even though you can make money off of this. Um, it, you know, obviously you can, um, but um, really you want to start with the end in mind, which is what is the high ticket thing I'm selling or what is, or you know, actually you can just do this if you're sort of playing the, uh, the build a list game. Um, and then doing affiliate offers in the back end. But in my case, a lot of my clients, they're selling $5,000 things, mastermind, expensive type products, and this is the initial part. So uh, just wanted to let you guys know that. So here's sort of how I wrote it. So basically here's the process. Alex and I, we brainstormed out this part first, which is the components, uh, what they get. You know, they get the cash now, quick start video. They get a how to pick a slam dunk niche, you know, 60 minute product creation, uh, your 24 seven sales machine, which is module four. And a couple quick things that I want you to take notice of here is really um, when you're writing sort of these, uh, these $10 offer copies, special offers as I call them, what you wanna do is they're really, um, you want to make them really irresistible. You want to make an irresistible offer. And the way to do that is um, to build up the perceived value and then drop it down. So any technique you have in your toolbox to make things more uh, valuable is really going to help the conversion. Um, the offer is the key part of this sales letter and it's why it works so well. Um, so a couple of quick things. If you look at the modules, you'll notice they all have benefit language. Really key. So a lot of people, they will just say the quick start video. Um, in my case, you know, we wrote the cash now quick start video. You know, product creation might be, mod they might go module three product creation, 60 minute product creation. Again, adding that benefit to it to get, that they could get it done in 60 minutes. Module four is really, you know, copyright, you know, how to write a sales letter is what's taught in there. Um, it's actually in the product. It's me teaching how to write sales letters. And um, what, you know, notice how it's not named sales, you know, how to write a sales letter, it's, which actually wouldn't be bad, but a better thing is your 24 seven sales machine. Module three is basically how to set up, module five is how to set up the websites. It notice it's the instant three page cash machine. That's what they want. This market, they want cash and they want freedom and they want cash now, cash flow, all that stuff. So the more that you could put that into uh, you know, the, the modules and all that stuff, the more valuable it's going to be perceived. You'll see this done all the time in infomercials. Everything is benefit language. Um, you know, I was watching the P90X commercial or one of the fitness ones, and it wasn't just the, you know, the how to get started guide. It was the rapid fat loss guide, you know, and then they go, how to, this is how to quickly get started. Um, you know, the quick start fat loss guide. 
again, um, really you have a lot of, uh, when you're writing a sales copy for your own product, you have a lot of leverage here because you get to decide before, and I actually wrote this sales letter before the product was even created and that gives you more leeway as a copywriter, as a, as the product creator and just being able to create a really good offer. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, another key part is the values. Notice how we're adding up the values. A lot of people miss this. Really easy to just put in, um, give things, a value, you know, don't make it up, but what is it worth? You know, what do you think it's worth and add that to it? Um, when you sort of do this, adding up the values and showing how much it's worth, um, you know, the human mind, you know, even, even, you know, 47, 97, 47, you know, even if they're like, that's BS, it's still going in their mind and it's still, you know, when you add it all up, you know, they can't help but do the math in their head. And then when you drop the price, of hey, this is 10 bucks or this is 27 bucks, 47 bucks, you've created that contrast. Rather than not doing that at all, they don't know how to value the information. And that's a really key secret to this business is that humans, we don't know how to value information. We're taught how to value inf inf information. So like take for instance, a $1 bill and a $100 bill. Intrinsically, there is no difference between a $100 bill and a $1 bill. You know, they're roughly, you know, same amount of paper, same amount of ink. The only thing that is different is the message on those two pieces of paper. Um, and we're taught that the $100 bill is worth a lot more than the $1 bill. Uh, again, intrinsically, not much different, but we're taught, you know, there is a process that we learn throughout our lives of the, of the $100 bill is worth a lot of money. If it's got Ben Franklin on it, it's worth a lot more than, um, than the $1 bill. So again, um, if we don't do this, teaching them how to value this information part, your conversions are going to be a lot lower. So you got to sort of teach them how to create, um, how to value the information. Um, and that's really your job as creating the offer and as when writing your own sales copy. So, um, I'm just, that's what we wrote first. So just kind of going over the process of how we did this. Um, so we did that. And then what I did is I started with this. Um, I wrote this subhead, which is inside the members area. You'll learn. And this is really the bullets. And in this case, these are the bullets. So I write module one and normally I'll go right into the five things, uh, five bullets. In this case, um, this is a different way to do the bullets. So you know, you'll learn a truly step-by-step -step fashion why this is an absolutely why this is the absolute proven best method for making money online and discover how the system actually works, why it works, and what to do right away starting today. Module two, how to pick slam dunkets. In this section, I'll show you how to uncover highly profitable niches sometimes in 20 minutes or less. Um, one surefire way to guarantee failure is picking the wrong niche. So with the knowledge I'm going to give you, my marketing intel method that myself, my high level clients have been using to pinpoint the ex and extract money out of red hot niches, as simple as that. Module three, um, this might be a, um, module three, have you noticed? So basically what we're doing is um, just adding these, um, like writing the bullets underneath here. Um, this is another way to write bullets. I consider these bullets just because it's sort of like, you know, what they're learning, the benefits of each of the each of the modules. So normally at a when you write that uh, and again, you could take a look at this sales letter. Normally when you um, do that process, you're going to find, you know, what are the biggest benefits, the biggest hot points that you want to do? And then what I wrote next was this, which is basically introducing the ultimate profit empire. The Ultimate Profit Empire is a step-by-step -step system giving you everything you need to have your very own highly profitable online business in any niche. So that's sort of like, um, not the USP or even the UVP, but sort of just the, the summary sentence. Um, this radical simple approach to making money online will work for you even if. So here's sort of the chunk of copy. Um, this is the copy device called Even If. And it's really a way to handle objections. So here's uh, like, you know, I went to my objection list and the objections are 
in this market. They don't have anything to sell. They're not an expert. They are not an authority. They don't have any affiliates or JV partners. They have no idea, no niche. They have very limited capitals and they have no technical, no technical skills. So if your product actually does this, which ours is for complete beginners. So this, you know, we basically show them how to become an expert, um, shows them how to gain authority, how to get affiliates. You know, there's a module on how to pick a niche. Um, how to do this on the super cheap and then there's also tutorials on how to do the technical stuff So in this case, it's true So if it's true, then you need to handle these objections because if you don't handle these objections here, they're not gonna buy um, Really 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 crucial part um, So what we do here is we handle this all these so these are all objections and again, this was done by the um, that objection sheet of going through all the other different sales letters and also brainstorming and knowing your prospects. What are their objections? And then the last one is key. Even if you think you've tried everything, because a lot of these people, they think they've tried everything. So then we go in the ultimate profit empire, nothing is held back. Again, um, one of the beliefs in this market is that um, the gurus are holding back secrets. You know, there's the reason why they haven't succeeded is because there is a secret. Really important, the psychology of the secret to know that. Um, and the secret, the psychology of the secret is another way of saying it's not their fault. Um, really, um, in every piece of copy you wanna write, you wanna take the responsibility off of the person and put it, you know, take the responsibility. Basically say it is not your fault. You know, one of the most classic uh, lines and copy is it's not your fault, but really it's sort of, it, you can say it directly like this. I like to do it in a more skillful way, uh, in the form of the secret. And really, let me quickly go over the psychology of the secret. Um, really if someone's not getting a result in something, it's, um, usually because they're not doing the work, right? They're not putting in the effort. So like for if you're selling, I've done a lot of copywriting in, in the weight loss niche. So the psychology of the secret applied there. If someone's in weight loss and they bought a bunch of weight loss things and they haven't lost any weight, you can't tell them that, you know, the reason why you haven't lost weight is because um, you're, you're lazy. You know, you're sitting on the couch, you're eating donuts, you're not working out, you're not following any of the advice that we've given you inside of these other courses um, that wouldn't really sell well. So in their head, they have to believe the reason why they haven't succeeded is there is some sort of secret um, that takes the re that takes them off the hook because they could say, you know, the other reality is pretty grim. It's you know they're admitting to themselves that they're lazy. They haven't taken action on any of the other stuff they bought, which is. Um, you know, not a good reality for them. They have to basically um, take full responsibility for where they are. And a lot of people, they don't like to do that in their life. So they have to be like, you know what? The reason why I'm failing is because, uh, you know, I'm not eating right. I'm not exercising, I'm not doing all that stuff. That's option A. Option B is the reason why I'm failing is because there is some secret that I don't have. Uh, a secret that if I did have, then everything would work out. So again, the reality of the secret, a lot more appealing, a lot more easy to sell. So, you know, every trick, every resource, every secret is all explained in step-by-step -step detail, ready for you to copy and profit. And again, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to spend, you know, a long, long time going through this. Um, I don't want to overwhelm you. I just want to sort of show you the structure, but there's a, you know, every sentence is a strategy and that's um when you're looking at copy when you're looking at my copy there's every sentence is there for a reason so you could really look at every sentence and really study every sentence and break it down um you know we could probably spend uh you know i could do almost do you know a full three hour presentation on everything in this sales letter for example you know e you know step by step that's what they want um key you know, ready for you to copy and profit. You know, one of the things that this market really wants and what everyone wants is they want shortcuts. You know, copy and profit is a shortcut. Another thing that people want is, 
you know, there's that emotion of greed and sloth, you know, um, and when you pull that emotional trigger, it works. You know, when you th say you can hear, you could copy and profit. What are we doing? We're pulling on that greed and sloth um, uh, emotion. And again, it works well. I mean, I got into uh, internet marketing, marketing, entrepreneurship, business because of the book, uh, The 4-Hour Workweek. Um, that title, The 4-Hour Workweek, really pulls on that sloth um that sloth uh, emotional trigger of, you know, you're only going to work four hours a week and look, it's a bestseller sold like crazy. You know, another one, you know, think and grow rich. There's no work in that. You just think and you grow rich. Um, you know, if they would, if you would have titled it, think, um, work really hard and sell and then grow rich, believe me, would not, you would not see it out there today as a bestseller. So again, another little thing you want to keep in mind. Um, Three advanced strategies that you can, uh, these are advanced strategies you can use to take your business from zero to a thousand dollars per day and beyond. So um, advanced strategies, even though this market is mostly newbies, they think they're advanced and that's because they've bought a lot of programs. Um, kind, of, uh, kind of funny, but um, they really do think they're advanced. They haven't done anything, but since they can, you know, you will meet them at seminars and they'll be able to talk the talk, but they really, they haven't done anything. Um, but they think they're advanced and it appeals to their ego. So, um, most of the time, you know, you, uh, want to have, what's funny is that you want to sell something that's newbie friendly yet advanced at the same time. Cause they're like, you know, newbie friendly, perfect. That's for me. You know, I'm a newbie, but then in their head, they're like, you know, I'm advanced. I want the advanced strategies, the advanced secrets and all that. So, you know, I've been personally making 4,000 in the past 30 days with the ultimate profit empire. Here is a screenshot from my own merchant account showing last month. Uh, again, this is, you know, just proof backing up the claims. Every time you make a big claim, you want to back it up with some sort of proof. Really key. Um, because if not, like I, you know, when I were talking about the editing, you get that whole BS. So... Um, make the claim of $4,833 per day, immediately back it up so they can't say BS, even though they still might say BS with the, um, with the screenshot. They could be like, it's fake. This, in this case, is a real screenshot. Um, and again, don't use fake screenshots. Not, not very smart. So again, um, you know, back it up right away and we're in the, into here. So then I wrote, um, you know, on top of that, um, I believe I wrote this next, which is what would a system be like this worth to you? Again, just add it, sort of anchoring that in, that initial price. And then we go the amazing take action bonuses. Again, list those down, write the bullets description for each of them. And then I wrote this, which is the value juxtaposition, which is still sort of the offer. Uh, for me to coach you one-on-one, -on -one, you'd be paying thirty-eight sixty at a minimum, even if we talk for 60 minutes and people pay it. Why? The value you gain in 60 minutes with me is way more than the small fee of thirty-eight sixty. Again, this is sort of anchoring those higher prices. Anytime you anchor a higher price, um, it's the compare and contrast principle. Um, uh, it works really well because it sort of puts that larger number in their head and makes it seem small. Like if I say a hundred bucks to you, you think a hundred bucks, but if I go and I say, you know, this is $10,000 and we make this presentation for $10,000 and then you're thinking $10,000 and I give you the next price, a hundred bucks, a hundred bucks without any sort of frame around it seems expensive. But when you compare it to $10,000, it seems pretty small. Um, so again, it's framing the prices, uh, sort of a quick um, side story. I worked as a fundraiser for at UMass Amherst, you know, dialing on the phone and getting people to donate back to the school. It was one of the, I was actually one of the best uh, fundraisers on the phone. And one of the reasons why I was so successful was because I actually had read the Robert Cialdini's book, Influence, and in that book, he talks about this uh, compare and contrast theory. And I would always ask for a $5,000 donation up front for the school. Again, this wasn't in the script. Um, the script, I think, had you start out like um, at 1,000. And a lot of people who didn't do well, they didn't they wouldn't even ask for 1,000 because in their heads, they're like, you know what? I'm not going to get $1,000, so why even ask for it? 
Um, but I always asked for 5,000. And the reason being was my goal was to get, you know, the average donation was like a hundred bucks or 50 bucks or 200. But when I would ask, you know, I'd say the, you know, the highest, not the highest level, but you know, you would donate to the school simply become a member of a, for, I forget the name of it, you know, whatever club it was, uh, for donating a certain amount by just, you know, by, by donating just $5,000 to the school. And, you know, the reaction would be like, what? $5,000, I'm not going to invest 5,000. But what that was doing was when I was asking for the $5,000 that was setting up what I was really going for and making it seem a lot small. So then when I asked for the hundred dollars, you know, went down the line and by the time I got to a hundred bucks, a hundred bucks compared to 5,000 seemed really small and they'd go, okay, you know, I'll give a hundred bucks to the school rather than what other people who did, who did not raise as much money as me, they would go and they would go, uh, can I have a hundred bucks for the school? And they'd be like, no, no way. Um, so again, just a little quick side story of how this sort of works. So again, we're building the value here. Um, you know, we're, you know, due to the massive transformation, we're going to sell for, but you won't pay that. And then you always want to give a reason why, you know, you can't, um, every piece of copy, if you're going to discount anything, there always has to be a reason why you can't just say, this is $5,000. And, um, yeah, here is, um, it's actually 10 bucks and they're like, what? <laughs> you know what why you know um you want to ask that because they're going to be like you know why is he selling it for so cheap so essentially you always want to do that and here you know but you won't pay that you see i know what it's like for you to go through the struggle i just know how much crap is out there when it comes to making money online which is true there's just so much uh for that reason i have decided to virtually give away the ultimate profit empire for a ridiculously low price that anyone serious could afford doing this as my way to give back at this point i don't need the money what excites me is new success stories that i have helped create um it's what it, it's what gets me out of bed in the morning and i'm positive this training will create more success stories than any other training of its kind and this is actually um um I'll tell you how i wrote this i interviewed alex and i asked him the question you know besides the money why are you excited about selling this and that was basically his word for word um, you know, why he was doing this. So you just sort of, you know, there's the reason why is the reason why is to give back. So again, you, that said, you get instant access to the entire ultimate pref, uh, profit empire for one low payment of $10. And then we go, the catch is some scarcity is you must order quickly guarantee. Um, don't believe a word that I said. And then I wrote this, which is, here's a deal. This is the Clayton Makepeace crosswords close, which is you can continue to struggle. You know, it's sort of like road A, which is, you know, things are going to stink and road B, you could grab this risk-free offer. Um, you know, you could try this risk-free offer. So that's sort of that. Again, adding up the value again, uh, those numbers might seem uh, a really important, I found. Uh, and even at this massive guarantee, click the buy now button below. Uh, and then you basically sign off. And then we got the PSs. So that was all written, right? Um, all that I wrote. And again, you sort of look all the sales that are over. And then I wrote this, which is now that that's sort of done, we, I wrote this, which is Dear Overwhelmed Online Marketer. My name is Alex Jeffries. Maybe you've heard of me. But if you haven't, let me quickly brief you. Over the past seven years, I've generated millions of dollars online, but more importantly, I've helped my customers make tens of millions of dollars from the very system I'm about to share with you today. Time is of, of the essence right now, so if you want to know more about my backstory, check out the video below. So really in the intro, you know, say your name, say who you are, try to establish authority, and then what you wanna do is you um, immediately one to gain the connection great copies about connection in our case we got this great video um by alex which is really sort of like a, a done really well it's an emotional video and including that on the sales letter is the connection piece and then from here you um what i do is normally um you know connection piece which is uh your backstory and also, if you feel like this, you know, trying to describe their problem, if you can describe their problem better than you, better than they can, 
they automatically credit you with the solution. And that's something that Wyatt Woodsmall said. He's a you know NLP expert. So really describing the problem. And again, I took that chunk and actually put it here. So let's be real. If you're sick and tired of buying products that don't deliver, you're lost and overwhelmed, but you're still looking for the missing puzzle piece, you're going to be hard pressed. So that's sort of that chunk of building that connection of their problems. Uh, I will sometimes throw that in here. Um, and then again, it's sort of the reason once you have, uh, which is really like, you know, intro, who you are, connection piece, build empathy, your story of struggle, how you found the solution, and then, you know, your reason why you're sharing with it. So this copy here, you could read this on your own time, but this is really just quickly, you know, the reason for the product. And um, there, there it is, you know, introducing. So that's all written. And then from here was really about writing the headline, which is the last piece of this whole process. Again, some people write the headline um, before they do the close. Uh, we actually wrote this last. This is a headline template that um, I learned from another copywriter. It's actually really smart um, by Colin uh, Terrio, who used to work for Andy Jenkins. So. Um, Shout out to him. Spoke to him a couple times on Skype. Um, this is his sort of headline template. I just sort of um, modeled it for myself. But basically it goes, call out the problem. Um, then we got the, you know, the benefit, the main benefit. And then uh, the augmentation of the benefit, which means uh, basically how do we make it better, easier, whatever. So... And you'll see, you'll see them do this in infomercials, you know, like, are you struggling to lose weight? You know, bam, immediately grabs out the attention, you know, men over 40, you know, do you have problems with your pros prostate? Again, you're calling out. Um, one of the things in the beginning is everyone saying, you know, is this for me? So right away, call them out, you know, still struggling to make any real money online. If they are, boom, that's, you know, they, you know, that's a question we're asking them right away. Then we go on the headline, which is, you know, I like to get a hook in here, which is UK uh, online expert reveals how to get a job replacing income that makes $350 per day with a, with a simple three page cash machine. So again, the big idea, which should be in the headline is that, you know, that three page cash machine, which is really something simple. It's just three pages and it makes money. Um, plus, you know, this is sort of the augmentation, which is just, the word augment means to like, you know, add another bonus, you know, add another benefit to it. Um, so plus he's giving you his three page cash machine template so you can have your very own money getting website online today. So again, really powerful benefit. You know, he's giving you his three page cash manage template, template, you know, hits on that sloth trigger. Um, it says basically, you know, here's a shortcut. Again, this market one shortcut. Um, their main desire, really, really important with the headline. In the headline, you want to call out the main desire and it, wouldn't be, and it wants to be, you want to connect it to Pillow Talk. So I was critiquing another um, uh, marketer and he was doing a launch and he was selling a solo ad course and his headline was like, how to become a solo ad expert. And um, it wasn't doing too well. And, you know, the reason why is, I kind of knew it off the bat, but... Um, the reason why is there's a concept that I learned called pillow talk and the closer your message is to pillow talk, the more it's going to sell. So what I mean by that is like, you know, you picture a husband and wife or, you know, someone in their significant other in a really like frank, candid talk. They're not going to say like, you know, oh man, if I could only become a solo ad expert, you know, that's not what's going through their head. What's going through their head in this marketplace is man, if I could, if I could only, you know, quit my job. You know, my boss sucks. Like, I don't want to wake up tomorrow and go to work. You know, um, and I've been there. It's like the last thing you want to do is go in. You'd be stuck there nine to five sitting sitting in an, an office, you know, feeling like a prisoner. Um, at least that's how I felt when I worked my engineering job. Um, so, yeah, that's that's sort of what's going through their head. You know, they um, so again, like when I wrote this headline, it, it connected right to it. So UK online expert. You know, that's sort of a little twist, reveals how to get a job replacing income. Again, boom, pillow talk, hits them right square uh, in the eye. And then that makes $350 per day with 
a simple three-page cash machine. Again, um, in this market, it's a sort of a it is a saturated market, so you always have to use uh, a mechanism, um, some sort of uh, like our mechanism here is the three-page cash machine, and then back it up with proof. So they were actually split testing this. We had screenshots and all that, but. Um, this actually turned out winning, which is interesting, which is um, the proof of what customers are saying. So again, you know, big benefit, uh, augment the benefit. And, you know, they were like, you know, that's you know, BS. And then right away, have the proof. So that's the headline. And then we go, let's be real. So now, you know, after you'll see it kind of reads down. And that's the really the process that I wrote the sales that are in. And again, each subhead is a different chunk. So if you want to sort of model this copy, just sort of model those um, subheads. And uh, that is really it. That is the um, sales letter that I wrote. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the uh, discussion comments below. I'll answer your questions, try to make this more clear for you. But, uh, you know, just the tips I gave alone, it should make you a lot better uh, when you go out and you write your own copy, now, now that you've seen sort of the process. I know when I started, uh, you know, I my first sales letter I wrote head to toe. You know, I had no idea. I didn't do really any research for it. And, uh, you know, by working, uh, mentoring under the best copywriter in the real estate market, you know, um, you work for him for a year, uh, you know, studying, you know, the top courses, top, top researchers, $5,000 courses, uh, you know, really the best stuff on copywriting. This is sort of the process that I have gleaned and then also being in the trenches and working, uh, I was really working full time as a freelance copywriter up until uh, last year when I started coming out my own with my own products and uh, still do freelance copywriting. Um, just, you know, charge a lot because there's other ways um, that I can make more money. Um, but with that said, this is really everything I've learned boiled down into a process that you can go out and use. So um, take this stuff, you know, write a sales letter, add these techniques to all your marketing and uh, go and profit from it. And, uh, you know, tell me how it goes.